good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Genie Mai and Jeezy are officially over. No more of the Asian persuasion for, you know, Jeezy. It's back to the black. He is going to do the Jonathan Majors and say, you know what? I'm tired of these non-black women. Bring me the sisters back. I need some weave some cornrows and some fried chicken back in my life. I thought the grass was greener on the other side. So let me go ahead on and come back home. Now Jeezy is devastated because a woman he thought really loved him, we found out does not. But let's get to something else, guys. Let's, let's talk about something else that's very important, which is this. Jeannie Maya allegedly has gotten a BBL. Now the BBL is not big like Keisha's, but we can see that you know, the booty and the hips are trying to really work with something. They're out there trying to get at something, okay? She's trying to work with something. Now, why am I talking about this? Why this is important? Why is she trying to look a little bit more thicker now? When Jeannie Mai has always been slim, always petite. What, what's the difference in these hips? Well, I'll tell you can't go back to the white man no more that's out once you go black you can't go back let me talk to you guys about this so many black men feel that once you go black she ain't going back you can't go back that means once a black man get a hold of you you know you can't go back to the race of men and, and part of that is true but not for the reasons that black men want to talk about a black man would have you believe that it is because of you know, extreme Johnson and booty clapping sounds. So the booty clapping is so great. Let a black man tell you, oh, that's the reason why these things are what they are. Okay. This is what you'll, this is what you'll hear. Unfortunately, I just don't know how true that is, but I will tell you the truth, the truth, the truth, the truth. The reality is, is that other races of men, once you have a black child, once you have a black baby, most, most other races of guys are like, whoa, you, you dealt with a black man before you dealt with a black guy before that's what you've done with a black child. Yeah. Um, how do I explain that I'm with a white woman with a black child? How do you explain it? It, it don't even have to be a man who's racist. It's just hard to explain. Let's say for example, if, if, if I liked white women, and a woman had a white son, that's gonna be very difficult to be out in the public, wouldn't it? Me and my white stepson, people would probably think that maybe I'm trying to kidnap him or something. And that actually happened. I knew a guy, a Haitian guy who was married to a Polish chick. Great guy, won't even call his name, great guy. And uh, he was, they were on the train in Europe somewhere and he's with the the the, the 16 year old, they, got, they stopped him. Like, yo, what are you doing with this teenager? He's like, I'm her dad. They're like, step aside, please. <laughs> you come over here. We need to talk to you. Talk to me about what? The, the fact that you are not her dad. All right. So he's been going through that all the time. I'm not going through that kind of stuff, right? Jeannie Mai can't go to white men. So hopefully the next guy that she can get with is another brother that's willing to take the, the, the bet over the fact that, you know what, I'm Asian. I got a little bit of booty now, come holler. And then let me also say another thing. Power dynamics is everything. An Asian woman typically will be getting treated better by a black guy than in her own community, on average. That's one of the things I've learned about living overseas. On average, a lot of American black men, a lot of foreign women like dating them. Could be for the fact that they are American, that's true but they have more freedom in the relationship. So if you get a black guy, it's, you know, for her, I can get a guy that's, you know, maybe a little bit more attractive. I can get a guy doing this and that. And you know what? Hey, it's all good for me. And I'm gonna get a little bit more privilege. So let me go ahead and BB, BBL it up. But here's something that you gotta understand. If she wouldn't respect a white man, don't you ever think she gonna respect you. 
and this is why guys need to understand something and not fall for this. There are some women that don't respect men, period. It, it, it don't matter what you do. Look at Cynthia G. Cynthia G, who is a fallen soldier here on YouTube. Do you honestly believe that Cynthia G would respect anybody? Even if she got with white men, Cynthia G is just a very difficult person to get along with. Okay. Cynthia G is just a, a, a very evil hearted person. So it's not going to matter. See, that's what the white guys think. White guys want to think that, you know, hey, you know, well, they're going to change up once they get with me. And some of them may, but usually they don't. They're going to be the same with you. And a lot of white guys are finding that out. Those sisters that have umbrage of black men, they're going to have umbrage them too. Right? It's just how it works. You can look at it for what it is or not. It's up to you. I don't care. They are going to be largely the same. Right? And if you're dumb enough to feel that somebody likes you because of that, you're stupid. You are an idiot. And Jesus should knew that. She wasn't going to respect the white guy. You thought that because you had more money and you, you're Jeezy, you had enough game to deal with that? No, bro. No, you don't. When people don't respect folks, bro, it don't matter how much money you got. It don't matter how much clout you got. None of that actually matters for anything. That's just stupidity going on there. That's just being dumb. Right? So what she's going to do is get that BBL and be there. And she knows for a fact. If Kim Kardashian can keep getting black men to come talk to me, oh yeah, I know if I BBL it up, I can get some brothers. And sure enough, some brother in the industry is going to take her on. If Lori Harvey is doing it, oh yeah, Jeannie might definitely going to get it. And Lori Harvey is young and, and, and in shape and everything. Listen, you guys are going to be out there simping it up. Some of you brothers are going to be like, oh man, I'm an Asian queen, bro. I got an Asian queen. I got an Asian queen, bro. I got to holler at her, bro. That's what I've been looking for, man, all my life, man. It's Asian queen, bro. She got good hair. She got good heart. Shout out to St. Louis. She got good heart. I ain't, I ain't with them black girls no more, man. I'm over here with the, with the Asian queen, man. I'm over here eating the Vietnamese food. I got an Asian mother-in-law. Okay. It sounds good, don't it? That stuff be sounding good when you Negroes be talking till your ass find out it ain't about nothing. That's why y'all be so mad at me. Y'all be thinking that somebody really gonna be just treating y'all hella good because you're black. People gonna treat you hella good because you're a great person. You demand to be treated good and you offer a lot of value to people and you know how to pick the right person. Nobody's gonna treat you good because you are black. I've been living overseas for 10 years. In fact, people treat you worse. In some aspects, American, they feel like you got money. They try to lie, they try to scheme, try to scam. Then once you find the game out is when they start treating a little bit different. But usually you're not gonna get it, all right? Usually you're not. Usually they're gonna try to play you like a fool. You don't have to get mad about it, but it's the truth. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy Oshie Drew Jackson back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Drunk. Put your fire, you do. Turn the bell. We're out.